What's up, guys? We are live. I got a new phone, and dude, you can see so much more. That's incredible. Welcome to the live stream, guys. If you're not watching this live, stay tuned. Keep watching. It's going to be a super sick live stream. We already got 15 people on this, so you know it's about to be popping. My computer froze, so we're waiting for that not to be frozen anymore. And then I did not get to do a step really quick for the live stream because I got I want to do this real quick for you guys. So I'm going to do this. So I, I don't. I can still talk to you while we do this, but I'm so stoked. We got uh, Brandon's here. Our stars here, of course. Dude, Brandon and Arstar are going off on the conversation. George is here. Um, Blue is here. NGEN's here. We got the crew. Everybody's here. Boom. Okay. I'm still trying to... Nope, I can't do that. Okay. We're fine. We're live. We're going. I'll do it another time. I wanted to put... Well, basically, I'll put it in the comments. We're giving away a snowboard. I don't know if you guys know that. But we are giving away a snowboard. If you didn't enter the snowboard giveaway yet, what are you doing? It's a free snowboard. So it's going in, uh, um, it's a No Bad Day Black Edition snowboard. It's a uh, camber snowboard and it's pretty sick. I'm enjoying riding it. I like the board. However, I got two other snowboards that are right over there that I'm going to be riding after the 20th. Well, I won't be riding, not, yeah, after the 20th, I'll be riding those boards. So, um, words are hard. So I won't be riding the No Bad Day Black Edition anymore. However, if you want to enter the giveaway, if you want to win one, it's not the one I'm riding because I'm destroying that one. But if you guys want to win a fresh, brand new board, enter the giveaway. It's in the top comment. I pinned it. So yeah, top comment. You guys can enter to win a snowboard because why not? We got No You. What's up? Josh said, family, dinner. Sorry, bro. Can't stay much. Dude, Josh, you're the man. Thanks for jumping on. We are at... He just put 18.9 thousand subscribers, which means we are almost to 19,000 subscribers. So thank you so much, guys, for all the love, all the support, for subscribing to the channel. You guys are so sick, so awesome. So many new subscribers this season. 5,000 new subscribers this season already. It's not even the end of December yet. So thank you so much, all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the content. I hope you're enjoying these live streams. We go live once a week because I love talking to you guys. It's so sick. I like to feel like I know some of you. I'd like to know all of you, but that's just not possible. Possible, kind of. There's so many of you guys. Oh, two. Before we get too too far into this, especially if you're not watching this live, my wife is working tonight, so um, Roman's on the bed chilling. Tomorrow we're taking Roman to Zoo at the Lights down in Denver, which is so sick. They put like lights around all the zoo exhibits, and they make like zoo animals out of lights. It's super sick, and Roman loves animals, so that's my son. He's two years old, so we're taking him to Zoo at the Lights. So we couldn't go live tomorrow which my, my wife helps me with Roman at that time. Whew. Man, I feel like I just said a ton. And we just got started. We're only three minutes deep in this live stream. All right, we got... No way. Peter said, apparently I can watch this video in VR. Dude, that's crazy. Hopefully this is all you see. Not joking. I, uh, I tried VR once, and it literally made me sick, like putting that stuff close to my eyes like that. I... I'd have to try it again. Maybe the rig was bad, but I did not like it. Oh, Josh is the man. So Josh is not only super sick and a great uh, subscriber, he's also part of the Patreon, and he's a super sick Patreon supporter. If you want to snowboard with me, you can do that this Saturday at Beaver Creek. Hit the Patreon link in the description. It's not there yet. I'll put it there right after the video. Join the group shred tier, and you can ride with me on Saturday at Beaver Creek. And if you're part of the group shred tier... Show up on Saturday. Let's do this. Let's get this uh, group shed knocked out. Now, Melissa says she probably can't make it, which is a bummer because she's super sick. However, me and Melissa just did our one-on-one -on -one shred day at Winter Park today, and it was fire. That video will post two days ahead because I always use this video to kind of get ahead so I can take a day off because I need those. Um, but if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one shred day with me, that's also an option. Me and Josh, not Josh Archer. Josh, don't remember your last name. Um... I think it's an A. Or anyways, I don't remember Josh's last name. On Friday, we're doing a one-on-one -on -one shred day. Hopefully, might happen. We're going to go to Vail, and that's going to be sick. Uh, R-Star's eating dinner right now. What's up, R-Star? I hope you're having a sick day. It, let, let, me, let me know if you get something sick in the mail. Austin, dude, what's up, man? Uh, Jackson said, hey, brother, love the content. Dude, I'm stoked you enjoy it. Uh... Got to tag you on Instagram for a sticker shout-out. Yeah, you do. Who wants to get a sticker shout-out? I shipped out tons of sticker orders, so we should be getting a lot of sticker shout-outs coming in the mail. So if you ordered a sticker, um, 
get those stickers and shout-outs ready. Now, if you ordered, I'm going to write sticker orders tonight. So if you order any stickers today, I'll be shipping them tomorrow. There's a chance you can get them before Christmas, just so you know. The post office up here stinks, though, and they're getting destroyed right now. They're understaffed. So if you haven't got a sticker yet, just know my post office sucks. Evan, dude, what's up, man? Hope you haven't killed time. Steven, dude, how you doing, bro? Welcome to the live stream. You've been on, like, what, the last three in a row? Dude, you're on fire. Brandon said, I'm Cade, man. Slammers on Instagram. Oh, okay. Good to know, dude. Evan said, JB, you should come to Breck on Monday. Evan, I can't, but you should come to Red Gerard's Backyard Park that opens on Monday. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a park preview of Red Gerard's Hike Park. You need to be there with me, dude. That'd be so sick. Let me know if you can make it. It's free, so you don't need a pass. We'll hike the park, and you're going to have a time of your life. So, yeah, Evan, let's do that. Uh, anyone else that's going to be there on Monday, it's a free train park to hike. Red Gerard, be there. I hope you're there. And we got a super chat. First one of the night, Steven, dude. You the man. For the $5 super chat, I appreciate you. Uh, hey, Buckhouse, ignore the haters out there. Keep what you're doing. Or right, keep doing your thing. Dude, Steve, like, it was really lame, actually. But the best part is the snowboard community around that, that like, the, like, the hardcore snowboard community actually had my back and made fun of that dude. It was like, dude, don't call people out. Like, that's so lame. So that was super sick. Also, I asked the angry snowboarder, like, a legit question because I thought it was a legit question. He threw out some hate, a little bit, not much. Um, he was just like, outdoor masters suck. Personally, I think they're sick. If you need... A sick pair of goggles, snag a pair of Outdoor Masters, $40, great Christmas gifts, great individual gifts, sick goggles, cheap lenses, check them out, guys. Link in the description after the, the live. I can't edit the live video while it's live, if that makes sense. NGen, dude, the E20, you're the man. I appreciate it so much. He said, get Roman something nice at the zoo for me. Dude, thank you so much. Like, and Jen, you have no idea how much that like how much that means to me, dude. I, I hopefully they have like a really sick like like neon light animal thing. I'll put it on Instagram um, if we get them something sick like that, dude. I appreciate the twenty dollars for Roman. Have a sick time at the zoo. That you have no idea. Like last week, I know I broke down. I got a little soft. I cried. If you guys didn't see that one, check out last week's live stream. That was sick. The thing that got me was when the, the Melissa did that donation. She was like, make sure Roman has a sick Christmas. And like, dude. That little dude's my soft spot. And I just like hit a, hit a soft, like hit my, uh, you know what I'm saying? So engine, dude, I appreciate that. Like you have no idea, like taking care of Roman. Like, I mean, I take care of Roman for sure, but that little extra, that dude's, that dude's living the dream right now. I can't wait for him to shred again. It's just been very cold. So that dude can't go ride. Old man shredder, dude. What's up? Welcome. What's up? Hashtag. DWCP, Roman's X Mix Fun. Dude, I don't know what DWCP means, but I appreciate the 20 seek. You're so sick. And yeah, dude, Roman's Christmas Fun. Dude's going to be, we got. We want to get him a trampoline. That'd be really sick. And there's an opportunity, not kind of soon, but soon that we might be able to get out of this apartment and get into a house um, and run a house up here, which would be really sick. And we could get Roman a trampoline. That dude will send it. But dude, thank you so much for, the, once again, for taking care of Roman. You guys are so sick. Roman, dude, you're rich. You're making bank right now. Austin said, let's head to Vail. Uh, the last days I have been, or the last days have been perfect. Dude, I love Vail. We're going to go to Vail. I'm going to Vail probably Friday. Uh, the group shred's not going to be at Vail this time. It's going to be at Beaver Creek because a lot of you guys have not never been to Beaver Creek, and I want to show you how sick Beaver Creek is. Then probably January's group shred will probably be at Vail because Vail's sick. So... Um, Austin, dude, thank you so much for the $2 super chat, dude. You're so sick. We got the train already going. Last week's <laughs> train got kind of crazy. But because of these super chats, I'm already behind in the chat. If I miss your question, re-ask it because I don't want to miss anybody's question. And if you really want to ask a question, you don't want to stick around for the whole live stream, drop a super chat. I go directly to super chats and I answer them. And just so you know, like super chats support the dream so hard. Uh, we, we do this YouTube thing full time for a living, and because of you guys and these ma major super chats and all this sick, sick stuff and snagging and merch and stickers and all stuff, which check this shirt out. You guys ever seen this one, the Colorado one? Um, all the support guys is unreal. Like all the Patreon supporters, which we got to mention a bunch of Patreon supporters. I got so many new ones. I got to ed edit that end screen tag. I know we got Dustin, Justin, Paul, Melissa, Brian, 
Josh. Now we got another Josh. And there's one more guy that we got to shout out. I'm sorry. I got to I got to check it out. So much is happening to so many of you guys. We're almost to 19,000 subscribers. So I, and it's just me. So I'm doing my best to keep up with everything. So Austin, he said, no, I have finals. I can't ski. Um, dude, Austin, I'm sorry, dude. I hope you crush finals, by the way. That's a big deal. I haven't taken a final in a while. But uh, study hard, sleep good, eat food before. That's my tips for your final. All right, I'm jumping back up to the regular chat. Thank you so much, Austin, for the super chats. We'll, it'll be sick to run into you at Veil, and don't worry, we will be doing a Veil group shred. So, but, dude, I appreciate those super chats. But he said, 75 people watching, only like or 12 likes. Pump those numbers up. I appreciate it. We're at 21 likes now, dude, so you definitely got, we got nine people smash like. If you guys don't know, hitting like, like helps the videos for sure. So smash that like button even before you watch the videos. That, that does help. Sorry, I had to catch my breath. Thunder said, I'm snowboarding Friday. They are finally opening. Heck yeah, I think you're talking about your, your local resort, which is so sick. Evan, we got a super chat. Evan, I'm going to get to your question about the eight. Give me a second. We got to answer Matt Lindley, who's my boy. Drop the $10 super chat, dude. Thank you so much. He said, for Roman Dog, Merry Christmas, brother. Love you guys. Come shred with us at Loveland on the 26th. I can't go to the Loveland. I think we're going to be in Colorado Springs on the 26th, too. We'll be coming back up from Christmas. I'm about to stock some sick uh, extra videos for you guys so I can take, like, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and the day after Christmas off because your boy needs to celebrate with the family. Um, but, dude, Matt, thank you so much, bro. I don't think I'll be able to ride Loveland because I don't have a pass. And um, I think we're taking that day off. But, uh, sorry, I just got distracted. Uh, but, dude, we'll get Roman sick for you guys. Appreciate the love, bro. And, dude, Kristoff, who went hammer time the other day, the man, the myth, the legend, $20 super chat. I appreciate you so much. Taco fund, that's got to go down. I got to take Tommy out and treat him to tacos because that dude's been helping film so much. So I appreciate it. So, like, at Christoph, dude, you have been so generous and so epic, dude. I appreciate you. And even if you guys can't drop super chats, I get that. Like, I'm in no position to drop super chats and stuff when I watch other people's live streams, which I wish I could. But just so you know, like, watching the videos, liking them, dropping a comment, that's enough, too. Like, I, I love the support you guys have. I love talking with you guys and replying to comments and stuff. So thank you to all of you guys for all the love and support. All right, Evan said, thoughts on the Hero 8 getting one for Christmas? The Hero 8's pretty sick. It's in my bag right now. I like the audio. It's a lot cleaner. Um, the stabilization is a lot better. You know me, I love the gimbal, so we're going to keep using the gimbal. But even today, when we went to Winter Park, we still use the Hero 8. So it's sick. It's a sick backup camera. Now, something I'm going to do, too, I have this here. No one's mentioned it yet. These, this is a, a knockoff GoPro. See this? It looks like a GoPro. It's not a GoPro. We're going to compare a $150 camera that looks like a GoPro to an actual GoPro. We'll find out which one is better. So super excited to, to make reviews on this camera. I also got to mention this before Christmas too, but, oh, by the way, for Christmas, by the way, I made sure they gave me a second one, so I'm gonna give one of these away. I might give both of them away, because I don't really, unless this camera's like the sickest thing out there, we'll find out. I know the giveaways, we're giving away snowboard, linked in the description. And I know a ton of you guys hit me up and you're like, yo, um, who won the goggle giveaway? Like, who won the goggle giveaway? I don't really announce that, just because it's, I usually forget first off, but two, I always email the winner. So I'm always like, yo, you won, like congrats. I just got so much going on, I always forget to like announce the giveaway winners. But the snowboard giveaway winner, we will definitely announce because it's a snowboard, so let's go. All right, Blue Ruff, Blue said, will there be any group shreds at Keystone or Breck this season? Blue, yeah, probably both. I think all the group shreds are gonna be at Vail Resorts. Um, I don't know how many people, I know everyone in the group shed currently has a Vail Resorts pass. So that's why we're doing all group sheds at Vail Mountains. If we get a bunch of people in the group shred that have Icon passes, we can maybe do an Icon Mountain. But right now it's majority or literally everybody with, with Vail Epic passes. Uh, do you have any tips for backside 360s? Random, or random, I 
need to make a how to backside 360 video yet. It's my favorite 360 and I made a how to frontside 360 before I even made a how to backside 360. Don't ask me why, but I did. Um, I will be making a how to backside 360 video soon. The biggest thing with the backside 360 is getting your head around because with the backside, it's a blind spin. But the moment you get your head around and you can see the landing, it's easy to pull your legs um, around. Now, also, don't pull down. A lot of people, when they backside 360, they like to go up, they pull down, which causes you to go cork and, and then kind of come around, come around right to your butt. So when you do a backside 360, pull up, up, and you'll be good to go. Bearded Mountain Bike, dude, what's up? Haven't talked to you since the summer videos. Uh, hey man, I'm tuning and waxing the board as I watch. Perfect timing, dude. That's sick. Like waxing and like watching like snowboard videos and stuff. Like I've always enjoyed doing that. <laughs> Brandon said, "Can you read mine, please?" Yeah, I can, dude. Ask a question. What's up? How you doing, dude? Chuck's here, by the way. Our only moderator of the channel volunteered. Everyone, give Chuck some hand claps. Chuck's the man. What is DWCP, by the way? I don't know what that is. Shion, dude, what's up? Are you going to make it to the group shred, Shion? I need to know that. Either hit me up on Patreon or drop it in here. Let's find out if Shion's coming. We got the claps coming in for Chuck because Chuck's amazing. Buddy said, I tuned and waxed my board uh, for the weekend. Dude, a tuned board, like a wax board is amazing. I love it so much. Anyone going riding tomorrow? Austin, I'm going riding tomorrow. I think I'm going to Copper. Because I got to have a short day on the mountain because we're going to Zoo with the Lights for Roman. The dude's going to have the time of his life. Alyssa said, I just started snowboarding and I was wondering if you have anything I could do to improve my riding. Alyssa, I do. I just posted a how to S-turn video and how to ride switch video. Now, how to ride switch video is kind of for how to, how, like, to ride switch. But if you watch that video, it's kind of like a beginner video just to like kind of snowboarding if you take those same drills even though you're not riding switch they will help improve your riding um so watch those two videos how to s turn and how to ride switch they're in my how to playlist and if you really want to get in the park i have a ton of how to park videos like how to hit a rail how to hit a box how to board slide how to 50 50 how to 180 off a box we have so many how to videos guys check them out now the biggest thing with your riding that's going to help you become a better rider faster is just time on snow you're definitely going to want to get on your snowboard and you're going to want to rip but Looking for educational snowboard content like this channel and other things will definitely help your riding for sure. So I feel like you're on the right path. Check out those videos and then drop comments if you have questions and I'll answer those que uh, those questions for you. So Bobby's mom jumped on the live stream. What's up, Joni? It's so awesome. So Bobby's parents love the channel. They watch him. They drop comments. I'm sure Robert and Kevin are watching. She said she told Roman and or. For me, Roman, and Bobby to have a fun time at the zoo, which is going to be sick. Dude, Kristoff, coming in hot again. $20 super chat, dude. You're nuts. He said, you're going to make a video of you skiing this season. No joke, Kristoff. We almost made that video tomorrow. Like, we were planning it tomorrow. And because I have to have a short day, I was like, yo, I'd be sick to do just a short day. And someone was like, you really should do a full day. Like, really progress from, like, sucky beginner to maybe actually riding really good. I was like, you know what? Maybe we should put a whole day into skiing. So Kristoff, that video was moved to next week. I want that video up. I honestly want that video up before Christmas. So maybe, oh, I could do it on Sunday because the Packers don't play. So I actually go ride Sunday. So maybe I make that video on Sunday, Kristoff. I really want to make that ski video before Christmas, by the way. Guys, my lips are dying from because it was sunny at Winter Park today. I need to grab... A snowboarder's best friend, Chapstick. Who puts Chapstick on after snowboarding? It literally is a lifesaver. Our star is trying to get the dono train going. My lips will be pink now. After. Uh, is this weird? Is this like a makeup channel now? All right, here we go. Jumping back to where we left off on the regular chats, except for the fact... Nope, I got it still. So, dude, I'm so far behind in the chat, guys. I'm so sorry. I, I, What's funny is I ask questions right now, but by the time I get to the chat, it's like 10 minutes later and like... Rip. Dude, Shion. $5 super chat. The dude. 
Dude, I'll try. Weekends are tough for me because I work, but I'll try. Um, butter my nose or butter my boss up. I shine, dude. Uh, keep me posted. It'd be so sick to ride Beaver Creek with you. I think we wanted to go last year. We couldn't do it on a one-on-one -on -one shred day. So, so let me know. I'll just me just message me. Oh, I got a new phone, Zion, so I probably don't have your number anymore. Message me. Where's Daniel this season? Old Man Shredder, great question. Our boy Daniel is working literally 12-hour days, like, every single day. He got sucked into that work grind and, like, manager grind and, like, trying to, like, kill it which is sick. The dude's like killing it in life, but he didn't buy a season pass this year. So now Daniel can't go ride. I did tell Daniel that, dude, we should go somewhere cheap, like, like Ski Cooper or something and still go snowboard with you because people miss you. So that will probably happen. We'll probably go rip Ski Cooper. But the reason why Daniel's on the videos this year is he didn't buy a season pass because he's working too much. Rip. Boo. Not cool. We love you, Daniel. I did not kill. I did not dump i did not bury i did not replace daniel i wanted daniel daniel didn't daniel had other priorities jack dude five dollar super chat literally just said you i'm not a ewer but dude you <laughs> uh i appreciate the love and i appreciate the five dollar super chat dude that helps so much you guys are so freaking supportive it's incredible it's like it's literally incredible um Shine said, start a lift ticket fund for, for Daniel. No joke if, so Daniel, for a lift ticket for Daniel to go snowboarding, if we go to, to Ski Cooper is $40. If someone drops that, I will buy Daniel's ticket for him. And that dude will have to come ride. All right, RX, RX Fly Fishing said, I wear chapstick while boarding and my lips would be fried. So I'm going to jump ahead with the um, super chats or with the chat so I can stay up to date with the current conversation. If I missed your question, please drop it again. I want to answer it. Uh, I just want to kind of stay up to date with what we're talking about. Like Daniel, an old man shredder dude with the Seek 20, that's $20 for Daniel's lift ticket. So 20 more bucks, I'll buy Daniel lift ticket and make that dude go shredding because I know you guys miss him. So guys, I appreciate the love. Old man, you're crushing it, dude. Kristoff, boom, Kristoff covered the whole freaking thing, dude. Looks like Daniel's getting pizza on the mountain. Guys, I appreciate that so much. Kristoff and Old Man Shredder. We give him, let's give him some claps. Those guys are sick. You guys, we'll get we'll get Daniel on the mountain. I'm, I'm calling him after this live stream and be like, you have no choice. The people donated. Your lift check is covered. You're going shredding. So what man said, my mom found cheap Burton Gore-Tex jacket. Dude, that's sick. He said, I'm hyped. Dude, and Aaron jumped on. Dude, thank you so much for the $5 super chat, bro. He said, just got home, homie. Missing Breck already. Dude, Breck's so sick. By the way, I don't know if you got my Instagram message about your riding. I, I sent you a message about how to like rip. You were killing it at Breck the other day, dude. I was. You were full sending it. It was sick. I love to see that, dude. I love that you made like a fall montage, which was, was super dope. And dude, Justin, ticket fund. All right, it looks like Dan's going two days this season. Uh, Justin, thank you so much for supporting the channel, dude. You're so sick. I'm bummed we didn't get to actually take laps when you're out here, but I loved seeing you, dude. And um, and Kelly, which was so sick. Got it. We gotta do that again, dude. All right. All right. Aaron said. So I just started snowboarding, and I picked up a pretty fast. I picked it up pretty fast. Just want to get more into switch riding, ollies, carving, um, better. Any tips on how to get better? Yeah, Aaron. So first off, you, what you're on right now, YouTube is like the best place to like even learn new tricks to even try. I know that's something I did. I'd see something like, I didn't even know you could do that. Like, I'm going to go try that. Now I have, Aaron, I have a how to ollie video. I have a how to ride switch video. I have a how to 180, like front side 180, back side 180. I have a whole how-to playlist. I'm not joking. Watch those those videos. They will help you so much. It would be the literally the same exact thing I would tell you in person is on those videos. And now that we all have smartphones, which is so sick, because when I first started snowboarding, you couldn't do this. On the mountain, on the chairlift, you can watch the how to 180 video. Watch it on the chairlift. Do the run and do it. Like That's so sick that you could do that. So check those videos out. Now, my boy Tommy, who is my snowboard coach, who's helping me become a sicker snowboarder, 
has sick how-to videos as well. If you are not subscribed to Tommy, you're not doing very hot. His channel will be linked in the description. I don't have the description linked yet. Subscribe to Tommy though. Check out his channel. He has so many sick how-to videos and he teaches in a different way. He's teaching me. The dude is like a boss. He's literally a snowboard boss. So subscribe to Tommy. Hit him up on Instagram. He replies to everybody. So send him clips of your riding. Ask him questions too. He'll give you like all the information he's giving me for free, which is so sick. He also has a snowboard co or a course. If you um, want to get really sick at riding, you could work with Tommy on an online snowboard course, which is sick. I took it. It's sick. That's my Tommy plug. That dude's my boy. All right, we got a, another super chat from Aaron. Dude, thank you so much, man. He said, I got, I got it on Instagram. Appreciate it, homie. I'll be back the next two months, or... I'll be next. Bleh. I'll be back next. Motherland. Mother. Mother. Two weeks in Vermont in February. Hopefully another trip to Breck in March. Dude, Breck is so good in March. March. No joke, Breck. The best time to ride Breck is March. Like period. The best days ever go down to Breck in March. Um. So hope you get get back. Two weeks in Vermont sounds incredible. Aaron, it's not, she said, back to the motherland. Do you not live in the United States, by the way? I'm kind of breaking down your question already. Or, but, um, dude, so sick. You're getting really good at snowboarding, dude. You're like this close from breaking a wall that will take your riding to the next level. Once you get that balance down, poof, off. You're, go you're going off, dude. And Shion, dude, dropped the $2 super chat, said, Tommy is low-key incredible teacher. No joke, he's like high-key incredible teacher. Tommy... The, the best thing about Tommy is he's so good at teaching that he explains something once. I hear it. It's so simple. It makes so much sense. Then I know how to teach it to you guys. And I never knew that before. And that's a big reason why my how-to videos are getting even better. Because Tommy's like, yo, this is how you do it. And I'm like, yeah, that's exactly how you do it. But I never even thought about it, explaining it that way. And he's like, yeah, dude. Like a great example. So Tommy talks about carving. Like the really sick, like Ryan Napton carving. You do that with knee, knee steering. And the way you knee steer... Think about a car, a car drives, when you turn the wheel in your car, the front wheels turn first and then the car follows. Well, that's how you want to do it with your snowboarding. You want your knee to open up, but you need to close, which then causes you to go opening up, you go on your heel edge, closing it, you go on your toe edge. Hopefully that makes sense. Tommy's sick. Another super chat from Justin. Ooh, Justin, I'm going to get to this. Dude, the super chats are coming in hot. All right, I'm going to get to these two super chats. I got to drink something real quick. No free advertisements. Justin said, maybe or maybe not exactly low key, at least not for long. Dude, right? Me and Tommy, <clears throat> I'm going to pump my chest up real quick. I'm going to get a little cocky. Me and Tommy are going to take over the game. That's my dude. Like, Tommy's my number two. You guys aren't ready. I hope Tommy's listening to this too. He usually watches the live streams. He just doesn't chap chime in. If you're here, Tommy, let me know. Oh, he did. He just said, yo, boy. Yeah, me and Tommy are going to take over the snowboard game. You have no, he's just going to take over the world. You guys aren't ready. We're, we're, I'm, this isn't totally set in stone yet, but me and Tommy literally want to do a snowboard camp in Mount Hood with you guys. If you wanted to snowboard two weeks with me and Tommy in a place and an opportunity where we actually can teach you guys, that's going to, like, that's an opportunity. And what just happened? We literally just got like six super chats. That's a legit dono train. That was nuts. But I'm going to finish this sentence really quick and I'll get into the live, the super chats because me and Tommy want to host a summer snowboard camp. If you're interested, let us know. That's a real thing. It'd be really sick to ride with you guys and we'll be an opportunity where we can literally teach you and not get sued by the mountain, which would be really sick. All right, jumping on the super chats. We got so many coming in. So Daryl, Said, seven days in so far. Dude, that's a sick season already. It's just, just December, dude. You're crushing it. Five straight days starting tomorrow. What? Let's be third. Crushing it. 35 days this season. See you up there. Dude, I guarantee we're going to run into each other. Um, so sick, man. Thanks for the $10 super chat. You're a legend. 35 days in a season. That's sick. My Before I moved up to the mountains, the year before I moved up, when I like decided I loved snowboarding like so much I had to live up there, I went 30 days in a season. I thought I was a boss. You're going to crush me but five days. Aaron, dude, $20 super chat. Dude. 
I want to come back to Breck in January, then in Vermont for two weeks in February. Dude, February is my favorite time to go anywhere. So, dude, that's going to be a ton of fun in Vermont. I want to go to Vermont, honestly. Um, Corinthia, Mount Snow, Corinthia, Corinthia Parks looks sick. Uh, then hopefully back to Breck in March from Wiss, but I live in Texas for the past 19 years. Okay. Been riding 19 years, but just started park my last year. That makes sense, Aaron, why you're like already so strong in the park. Because you've been riding for 19 seasons, dude. You're crushing it, dude. Your season sounds so fun, dude. Traveling is sick. And I, I'm stoked that you don't just go to the same place all the time and you go to all these different places. Like, that's a, that's super sick. RX, dude, he's a just supporting the dream. Dude, you you are so sick. You watch even the summer videos and we're dropping comments, RX. You do so much for the channel, dude. I appreciate you. This season with Tommy has been super fun. Or, or, or has been super fire. Stoked you guys are liking the content with Tommy. I'm liking Tommy in general. Dude's sick. And... I love the big people like RX fly fishing has been subscribed for like, I think three seasons now and he gets to see the growth. So when he says like this season with Tommy has been fire, he like sees the progression, which is so sick. And I'm stoked that we're constantly progressing, progressing on this channel. By the way, we're almost to 19,000 subscribers. So if you really want to support the dream, help it out, help it get some subscribers, pick your favorite video from this season and share it. Like share it on a snowboard Reddit, which is like one of the sickest ways to help grow the channel because that's where people like snowboarding or share it on a, like a snowboard Facebook group. Like I know I can share on like Colorado snowboarding because I'm in Colorado, but share it maybe on like a Texas snowboarding Facebook group or whatever. Let's see if we can get like that hundred subscribers tonight by you guys sharing your favorite vlog from the season. That'd be really sick and I appreciate it. We're almost through these donations. You guys came in so hot. It was like seven in, a, in like 10 seconds. <laughs> Justin, dude, $50 take over the game fund. Heck yeah. We'll, we'll probably use that for our lunches. So me and Tommy split the employee meal every day we go ride, which I never ate on the mountain. Tommy's a big fan of it, and I'm slowly becoming a big fan of it. So, dude, take over the game fun. We got to stay fueled. I think we got another super chat. Yeah, we got El Stagger, $2 super chat train. Woo! Dude, El Stagger, dude, not only do you have a sick YouTube channel, and he did a live stream of making dinner last night, which was super funny. El Stagger, I love your genuine content. Um, check out El Stagger's uh, channel, Dude is Sick. Um, but he's always trying to get the dono trains going. So I appreciate you, El Stagger. You are the man. I really wish I could go to Japan with you guys. And I'm sure that's a big re or that's a reason to subscribe to El Stagger because he's going to be ripping Japao is what he, what they call it. All right, I'm start, starting the chat from the pink super chat. So if I missed your question once again or your comment, uh, drop it again. Or if I run out of questions or comments, I'll go back. But you guys are coming in hot. We have 66 people in this live stream, which is so sick. Lynn Cole said, I skied at Killington East Coast last Christmas. Not going to lie, it was pretty bad. <sighs> I'm sorry, bud. I feel like East Coast, What? Like I don't, I'm not from the East Coast. I'd like to ride the East Coast. What's the best time to go to the East Coast? Maybe like late January or early February? Let me know. I'd like to make that trip. I might wait till the East Coast literally gets a dump or I know it's getting a dump at the East Coast, buy tickets and fly like the next day and be there for like two or three days and ride as much as I can. I don't know. I know the East Coast guys literally um, hit me up like every single day and they're like, yo, let's uh, come to the East. I'm like, I want to guys, trust me. Analytics are in point two, thinking about the position your belly button has. Oh, yes. Okay. So Chuck's talking about Tommy's coaching and he said that the an analogies, analogies are on point. Sorry. So the analogies are on point. Uh, thinking about the position of your belly button has been blowing my mind. No joke. It blew my mind too. It makes so much sense. He's like, dude, whether you're doing like a board side, front board, whatever, get your belly over the rail. That's where your balance is. And it's like, Duh, like your belly is your balance, like that's your core, like stay stacked. Aaron, dude, you're going off. Well, first off, Justin dropped a $1 super chat with no question. <laughs> Was that a time? <laughs> Did you accidentally do that, Justin? Either way, dude, you're sick. Thanks for the buck. Um, and then Aaron, Kevin, dude, you're going off this live stream, Aaron. You're the man. Uh, oh, no. 
Oh no, what? I gotta help Roman real quick. I'll be right back. I don't know if you guys heard that, but he knows like, oh no, like something wrong happened. It's so cute. Aaron said, I went to the pizza place you mentioned on the vlog. It was super legit. Guy told me to tell you to come back to, come back, talk to him. Ooh, you're saying like GM Petros, is that the place you're saying? Cause GM Petros and Breck is the sickest. And if the guy said, come back and talk to him, I would 100% do like, ad slash sponsorship for GM Petros because it's the sickest pizza place in the whole county. You can fight me on that. I will literally fight you to the death. GM Petros is awesome. Roman's stoked on it too. He loves that pizza. Max, dude, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Will you be visiting Park City or anywhere in Utah this season? Yes, Max. Me and my wife are literally talking about when are we going to go. Um, we're think we, we, we're thinking thinking oh my god chats are coming in hot okay so um we were thinking like december 3rd through the 5th we were thinking but my little brother said he'd like to go but he going to do a weekend so maybe i will go i don't i don't know exactly when this early december we're trying to go to utah we're gonna ride park city canyons and hopefully we can ride somewhere else too all right, let's get to these super chats because they just came in hot and I want to get to Christos because he's a legend. Justin said, um, never, or, never is when you're coming, never when you come to the ice coast, other than maybe Vermont, GM Petros is the best. Dude, Justin, no joke, it's the best. Um, it just says, never when you come to the east coast. I might do Vermont if I do the East Coast because like Mounts or Corinthia Parks look so sick. And Kristoff, dude, pizza is good. $100 super chat. Are you kidding me? That's so much pizza. Tommy, did you see that chat? Like that's a lot of pizza, dude. <laughs> Tommy doesn't eat too much pizza, but like when we get the employee meal, I'm like, should you get the pizza one, man? Kristoff, <laughs> uh, dude, I cannot say thank you enough, dude. You're such a legend. You have been supporting the dream so hard lately and... Like, literally, from, like, Bobby and Roman and everybody. Like, thank you so much, dude. Like, you're a legend. Do these chat like, the chats are coming in hot and heavy. And I'm if I don't get your question because I'm answering Super Chats, guys, I'm sorry. But I do want to, like, put attention to the people that are just crushing and really supporting the dream. You guys are so sick. And Justin said, Extreme is greater than GM Petros. No way. Don't go to Extreme Pizza, guys. Mainly because their service sucks. GM Petros is awesome. Actually, all the service, if you work in Breck and you're a waiter, I'm sorry, but I personally think all the service in Breck kind of sucks. Probably because all the employees in Breck are worked to death because they work six jobs to live there. Aaron, dude, $2 super chat said, I'm in Vermont January 1st to um, March 12th. Let's go, homie. Dude, March? Like, Vermont? That's a, That could happen, Aaron. Hit me up on Instagram. Let's talk about it. Max, dude. Thanks for the two large super chat, dude. He said, where will you be riding New Year's Eve? Okay. We were talking about this. So New Year's Day, so the, for January 1st, we were talking about going to Steamboat. Before that, I don't know. Probably Keystone. Now, it's pretty... I don't want to say it's, it's, it's a consistently the coldest day of the year on New Year's Eve. Like, no joke, up here, most of the years, my coldest day ever at work when I worked as a ticket scanner was negative 24 degrees New Year's Eve. So probably Keystone if it's that cold. Where are you going to be, Max? Let me know. Dude, these super chats just keep coming. Aaron, Aaron with another two. I'm going to Mount Snow. You and Tommy need to come. I don't think we're going to get Tommy out that way. Now, not because he doesn't like the East Coast, because Tommy likes literally any time he can be on your, his snowboard, he's about it. The dude literally, like, revolves his life around how can I snowboard faster or, or longer. So that's so sick. Um, so it'd be sick to get Tommy out there. But he also has a program. Like, he's a snowboard coach. So a lot of his time is, like, teaching kids. So unless he can bring his kids all the way out, kids all the way out there and they're snowboarding and he's coaching them, that's not going to happen. And I'm pretty sure his kids all, they're going, I'm not pretty sure. I know like a lot of them go to school at Summit High School. So um, 
I don't think that's going to happen. But your boy can go anywhere he wants. Spignelli's is good, too. Is that a pizza place? We don't even support GM Petros on this page. <laughs> um, dude, Aaron, thank you so much for those $2 super chats. All right, let's jump out. So we're caught up on the supers. Let's jump into the regular chats. I'm really sorry if I miss anything. Happy Lem... Is it Lemon? Lem Lemmy? Has dropped so many questions and I haven't answered any of his. So I'm going to answer yours real quick. He said... Oh, he's talking to Victor. He said, would you hike to the top or pay for the cat? If you're talking about Keystone, personally, if you're going to do the $10 cat at Keystone or hike, dude, hike it. The $10 cat is not worth it. Save the 10 bucks, Waste some money. Hike that. That's my personal belief. By the way, I was going to use this for a specific... I'm going I'm to save it. I, I have a really sick live stream topic I want to share, but I'm going to keep it to myself. All right. Victor said, uh, I have done two. The two are better. Chat. Oh. I'm jumping in a bunch of you guys' conversations. It's, I love that you guys talk to each other in these chats, by the way. It's so sick. All right, Donald said, what's your opinion on never summer snowboards? My opinion is when I was younger, I wanted a never summer snowboard so bad. I like saw people with never summer boards. I was like, that's the sickest snowboard ever. I want a never summer so bad. I have never had one. I've never rode a never summer. I really want to. That will happen. My opinion on it is obviously they make six snowboards. So many people love them. Our boy Justin, who's a major supporter of the channel, dropped the pink $50 super chat, said supporting the take over the world fund he rocks a never summer which is sick i sadly will not be riding a never summer until probably never summer starts paying your boy because i can't talk about it yet but maybe there's a deal a snowboard deal in the future that i get to share with you guys that i'm stoked about so um maybe i'll get on a on never summer before that deal sets in place maybe like Maybe like the day after Christmas or whatever. When we get back from Christmas break, we'll ride a Never Summer board and we'll give you an honest opinion on how sick they are. We got another super chat from Aaron. We're going to jump up and get that. He says, yeah, that Spigelli Sp Spignelli's is by Safeway in Frisco. Oh, yeah, that place is actually pretty legit. Aaron, you're not wrong. Um... Service isn't the greatest there, but that's a really good, like, quiet pizza place if you don't want to be in a very busy, loud one. Spignelli's next to Safeway. It's okay. It's not as good as GM Petro's. It's a pretty good pizza place. We got a Go Pack Go in the comments or in the chat. We got to acknowledge that. Go Pack. Uh, I'm nervous about the playoffs. Your, Packer bo your Packers are in the playoffs, which is so sick. However, I don't know. I... I thought we were sick. We got our butts kicked by the Chargers and this, the 49ers, and we lost to the Eagles. So I like that we're in the playoffs. Unless Aaron Rodgers gets, like, hot, which we all know he can. I'm nervous. Justin, dude, I'll ship my 2019 Rosignal 153. I could ride a 153, Justin. I, I totally could. If you want to, I'll rip it, dude. Okay, Peter said, explain parking at Keystone, $40. Is that what it costs to park at Keystone? All right, I'm going to give you guys a secret. Do not tell anybody, especially anybody that works at Vail. Someone asked the other day, how do you pay for all your parking? And the truth is, I don't pay. I park and I don't get caught. <laughs> I'm not joking. I park in the pay lots. I don't pay. And I, and I just park in a really weird, awkward spot slash position knowing that the person that checks all the license plates gets paid 10 bucks an hour and isn't going to check my license plate if I'm halfway across the lot and I get away with it. So your boy is just not paying for parking. So explain $40 parking at Keystone. I would never pay that. I would just park there and not pay. <laughs> uh, Keystone does have a lot of free parking though. Expect that to go away. But um, yeah, if every lot, so if all these resorts turn all their lots into paid parking, your boy is screwed because there's no way I can afford that. Senj Van, Senj Vange? Dude, thank you so much for the $2 super chat. Skull Vikings over Packers Monday. Dude, let's go. 
That's gonna be such a good game and I am terrified. The Vikings are so hot right now. Obviously the Packers are way better than the Vikings, but a hot team is a hot team. So we're worried about that. I gotta check on the little dude real quick. He's freaking out, but $2 super chat. I'm gonna get a beer to watch the Packers beat the Vikings with that $2. What are you doing? Hi. What you got? What is this? No, 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 no. What about whoa, kangaroos? No, you want to watch that? Let's go back here. Let's go. Whoa, what's that? All right, sorry guys, the wife isn't here to help with the little dude. So we're back. Thank you for not leaving. 73 people, dude, we're climbing hard. I think I left off with like the Packers are better than the Vikings, something like that. Um, we're gonna jump into Justin's $5 super chat, dude. Thank you so much. He laughed really hard. This is the future tickets. Now that I told everyone, or, oh, he, he's, Justin said, this is for the future tickets. He gave me a $5. I did, no joke, I did actually get my first parking violation at Breck, um, what was it, yesterday? Yeah, we were at Breck yesterday. I got caught, the parking guys made me park somewhere I didn't want to park, Normally, and it's because I showed up later than I wanted to show up, and all the side parking that they don't check got taken. Um, yeah, your boy's a rebel, I'm just trying to make the dream work, and so, um, yeah. Guys, thank you so much for the Super Chats. They help with my parking tickets. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, dude, I, lo I love that you guys are liking the uh, the uh, comments <laughs> on the no parking. A little bit about myself. Uh, if you can work the system, you got to work it sometimes. <laughs> I feel terrible I told you guys that. But you're my friends. I got to tell my friends that. That being said, if you guys park and don't pay and you get a ticket, that's not my fault. Victor said, anyone using mirror boards or skis? Victor, I've never even heard of that. Happy said, will you or will you slash will anyone else be in Keystone for Christmas break? I will be, actually, I don't think I got a Keystone day till after Christmas, honestly. And a big reason why we haven't been riding Keystone is they're not, there's not really jumps there. And it's really nice to ride a park that has jumps and rails. You're not just doing just rails. Um, or just jumps. It's nice to mix it up. Peter said I'll be in a rental. <laughs> yeah, let the rental company pay for the parking ticket. Melissa! Bobby's Christmas fund. All right. Shion's <laughs> emojis. Oh, my God. All right. We'll get Bobby something sick for Christmas. I already got her a bunch of gifts, but we'll get her... We'll get her that special gift. Melissa, thank you so much. You are so freaking awesome. And me and Melissa did our one-on-one -on -one shred day today because she's a sick supporter of the channel and she's a sick snowboarder. So last year we rode with Melissa, she was killing it. Yeah, bye, bye. I rode, I t it's been a while since I rode with her and she was destroying Winter Park today. So Melissa, you're sick, you're killing it. Thank you so much for like, no joke. You guys are nuts. I'm not breaking down today, I'm ready. I was. I was ready for this, these live, like, we ain't breaking down today, but holy crap, guys. Dude, our star with the donation trains, class fires. Oh my God. <sighs> Melissa, thank you so much. Dude, Engine, dude, with a $5 super chat, dude, you're the man, Engine. Shout out Old Man Shredder. Check out his YouTube channel. I didn't know Old Man Shredder had a YouTube channel. Dude, old man, thank you for all the chats today, dude. And guys, why don't we go check out Old Man Shredder's um, channel after the live stream. Don't leave yet. Um, you guys are so sick. And thank you so much for all the super chats, guys. No joke. And the best part about these super chats is it means I got cash flow to send you guys giveaways. Like, we're going to give away this camera. Um, I don't know how good it is. It's a, it's a not a GoPro, but we're going to make sick videos with because we have two of them. We'll make six videos. We'll send one out to you guys. We're giving away a snowboard right now. I got... More goggles to give away. It's getting sick. It's getting heavy. <sighs> Guys, thank you so much. Let me drink something real quick and I'm going to answer Alex's question. Alex. 
Alex said, if you want to demo a Never Summer, I can hook you up. I work at a mom and pop ski shop in, Co in Coop Copper. Alec, yeah, dude. Let's do that. Let's, can we do that? Um, can you write me on Instagram? Can we make that happen? Because, yeah, so Justin doesn't have to pay for shipping to send his Never Summer out here. We can get on a Never Summer, preferably a 151. Demo it. Be sick. Alec, dude, thanks for supporting the channel. So, like, no joke, you guys are sick. And everyone dropping super chats. You're supporting the dream so hard, which is so awesome. But, guys, a cool way to support is just like Alec did. He was like, yo, I can I can get you, a, like, a, a demo for free, which is huge. That, that, that helps the channel so much. So you guys can do really sick ways to help support the channel. Like, R-Star, it's right here. Dude, R-Star sent me, sent me this in the mail. So freaking sick, dude. Like, that supports the channel. It's, it gives me, like, hype and motivation to keep making these videos. Because, like, dude, R-Star didn't have to draw me this, but he did. Because the dude's sick. And look how sick that is. So, just so you guys know, like, if, if you're young and you don't have a ton of cash, like, there's always cool ways to help support. Like, even just dropping a really sick a comment or question or watching these live streams guys like i appreciate you so much like this is this is nuts also if you really want to support and get something back you can check out the patreon page i i write a blog every monday we got the snowboard 101 courses we literally have so many sick tiers and stuff for you guys on the patreon page check it out at least it will be linked in the description i did not get the description in the video yet i can't do it till we're done being live i'll get that in there though because tommy's channel's in there the board giveaway is top comment, but also in there. So much stuff. You guys are so freaking sick. Oh no, Cam, dude. Cam just dropped the... We can't let this stand. He said, Woodsies and Golden is better than GM Petros. Cam, no way, dude. I'm going to have to go to Woodsies with you and find out if that's real or not. But there's no way, dude. We got more super chats coming in too. Peter, dude, are sizes just a preference? A uh, big difference between a 153 and a 151. Now, I wouldn't say that close, a big deal. Not really two centimeters or millimeters, whatever it is. Um, not that big of a deal. But I went from, this is a 156, and I went from a 151 to 156, and I felt like I was on a kitchen table. Also, this board's really stiff. So if you jump major sizes, yeah, there is a difference. If you're going up on my girl, I'm about to go from a 151 to a 149. That's not that much of a difference. Um, but the biggest thing is when you're getting a board and you're looking at size, every board company has a size chart for what board you should get. And that's based off of your weight. Your weight is more important when it comes to buying a snowboard than actually buying it per height. Height, height is kind of nice, but it's all about your weight and on the board. So if you're going to buy a Never Summer, go on Google, type in Never Summer Weight Chart or size chart and it'll pop up and you'll know what size board to get for your weight. And you actually can pick options based off of that too. Cause if you're like 160, you might be able to ride like a 150, like you might be able to ride a range of like 153 to 160 type thing. So that kind of comes to preference. And that's why demoing snowboards is really sick. And that's why Alec is sick because he said he could hook us up with a free demo from a mom and pop ski shop. We'll give them a shout out. Get mom and pop some money. Aaron, dude, he said, I love it, homie. The uh, emotion is real, and that makes it easy to support you. Shows how much how much real... <laughs> shows how real you are, my dude. Keep it up, brother. Yeah, dude, like, dude, I just, I literally just got, like, tingles. Like, no joke. Like, I love showing my emotions, and I love being myself. Like, I am who I am in the videos. Like, no joke. That's the... So I rode with David Jones. I... I got this comment from David Jones and from um, TJ from Board Archive. They met me in person and they're like, dude, you are the same dude that is in your videos. And they're like, that's sick. And not saying they're not, but some people, you have like your camera presence and then you have your off. And like, I'm the same dude. Like, I just love snowboarding and it's super sick and it's super fun. So, yeah. Dude, what is... <laughs> what is Tar what is what is Tommy doing? He dropped the super chat. Tommy, we need we need to keep that money for pizza. But Tommy said Harkin says hi, dude. Harkin, welcome back, dude. I hope the sur shoulder surgery is good. So Tommy has an athlete named Harkin. He also has one named Max, and they're two sick dudes, and they're both really good at snowboarding. Harkin is like 
textbook, like that textbook. He's like a strong rider. It's super sick. I see, I saw Harkin snowboarding and I was like, man, I kind of want to ride, ride like Harkin, dude. That kid's got it dialed. So dude, Harkin, you're sick, man. I appreciate it. Guys, this has been a nuts live stream. Like, I feel like I'm yelling at the camera, by the way. I don't know. So with the GoPro, you have to be louder because it cancels out the wind noise. So I already have this like, and I also did acting in, in, in high school and, and whatever before high school. So I, I did act, acting. I was in acting class. I was, I did theater. Is that how you say it? Anyways. So I know how to project my voice loud. And so I'm like he, sitting here like, ah! <laughs> so sorry if it's loud in the headphone, all the headphone listeners out there. I'm sorry. Cam said, uh, man, I was at your meet and greet with the ski doc and I've boarded with you. So hit me up and I'll show you woodsies. Yeah. Cam, dude, one, thanks for coming to the meet and wax. We want to do that. So before the season, like, or right when the season officially started, we did a meet and wax with Michael, the ski doctor. So sick. I want to do that again. The dude just been so busy. You guys are all hitting up Michael, which is so sick. Thanks for supporting the boy. That dude literally is an entrepreneur. At heart. Every day he's like, you know, it's a sick business. And like says it every time I'm riding, which is so sick. I love Michael. But um, thank you to everybody that's been using his waxing service. The dude is a legend. Steven said, hey man, how do you feel about the angry snowboarder saying you are hurting the snowboard industry? No hate. Just want to know how you feel. All right. This might be the last topic we got unless more super chats come in. Okay. So yeah, so if you didn't watch the guy named angry snowboarder, he's a sick dude. He's making snowboard content. He is doing what he thinks is best for the snowboard industry, which I respect. Like guy posts content daily. If not daily, he posts a ton of content. He's done so much for the snowboarding for years. Like literally, before I even started a YouTube channel, I knew who the angry snowboarder was. He had like a blog. Dude, dude's awesome. Now, he has his dead set like beliefs or what he thinks for snowboarding, which is whatever. Like sometimes he makes a good point. Sometimes he makes a point and I'm like, I don't, I don't agree with that. But that's life. Like you're going to have people that like you agree with then you disagree with. And at the end of the day, as long as you're like, you can be like, yo, dude, like, I, I appreciate your opinion. I don't really agree with it, but that's fine. Or you can have a healthy debate about it. And maybe you still don't agree, but you learned a little bit. Like, that's sick. So, Angry Snowboarder doesn't like outdoor masters. I personally do. I personally have almost 400 days wearing outdoor masters. Let's say that again. Almost 400 days on outdoor masters. My eyes are not fried. I see fine. They're sick goggles. I personally believe in the brand. Not only am I sponsored by them, but I believed in them before I was sponsored by them. Go back and check it out. Um, so by saying I'm hurting the snowboard industry because I'm, I'm promoting a sub, uh, I'm supporting an inferior product. I don't think it's inferior though. I think it's changing the game. I think it's going to put a bunch of big snowboard companies in a bad position because they're making expensive goggles that aren't needed for the average person that rides five days a season, Outdoor Masters will crush it. Now, I'm not saying if you buy Dragons or Oakleys, they're not gonna crush it. They're gonna, they're sick too, they're awesome. But why spend 300 bucks, like 100 to 300 bucks on goggles, spend $40 on goggles and guess what? You could buy a better snowboard now and honestly, that snowboard is gonna help you become a better snowboarder. So my opinion on it is if I can get more people snowboarding because they can spend less money so they can actually buy a season ticket. I'm about that. So I don't know how getting more people to snowboard more or love snowboarding more because they save money. And that, that money, let's be real, money is like the hardest thing in the world to come across to be able to do things. So I think I'm helping the snowboard industry more than anything. That's my opinion. He has his opinion, which is fine, which is sick. Angry Snowboarder, go check him out. I'll give him a plug. Check out the Angry Snowboarder. Dude is angry. I'm not going to lie. But that's his brand. So everyone has their brand. Everyone has their style, which is sick. You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to hate on it, though. I'm not going to hate on them. And yeah, my goal is to help everybody become the best snowboarder possible. So if you haven't checked out my how-to playlist, go check it out. It's super sick. Engine, dude, with the $2 super chat. Uh, I dare you to, to do a longer live chat than Tommy. Dude, Tommy went live for two hours. And <laughs> I'm sorry, but Tommy don't have a two-year-old. My little dude sitting on the bed we we didn't let him have his ipad for two days 
which is sick because I hate that iPad. He likes it too much. Um, but I have to use it to do these live streams so he's not pull, pulling me off the computer, which he would 100% do. So we'll keep going a little longer because these super chats are coming in so hot and heavy. You guys are nuts. Um, but there's no way I'm beating Tommy because I, I do want to get, like, not only do I have to, I don't have to, but I really want to spend time with that little dude. I'm going to throw that iPad away. We're going to go, actually, I'm, I'm helping remodel a house for my landlord. We're going to go work on that. He's got a pool table. Roman likes the pool table ball. It's all good. Like, me and Roman about to hang out. <sighs> Max said, any advice for first-time riders? Yeah, Max, take a lesson if you can. Obviously, that's a lot of money to buy a lesson. So if you don't have the option to take a lesson, which I recommend because the instructors are paid to teach you to snowboard in a day, which is sick. So if you can't afford that, go on YouTube and watch a bunch of videos. I made a how to S turn video. That would help you. I made a how to ride switch video. That would help you if you take it for not riding switch and just use those same practices to get better at snowboarding. Tommy has made a bunch of sick how to videos and just in general, like snowboard pro camp, there's a ton of how to snowboard, how to make your first turns on a snowboard videos on YouTube. Watch those before you go wreck yourself and go on a bunny hill. That's my biggest tip. Like don't go up the big crazy mountain. Do a bunny hill. Don't get wrecked. Don't hit anybody. You guys are nuts, dude. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to keep up with super chats at this point. You guys are so sick. L Stacker said, keep it. Keep Buckhouse in the live chat with keep keep Buckhouse in the live chat with super chats, dude. L Stacker, you're such a legend, dude. I keep doing this today. I'm just stoked, like <laughs> rock on. God, this is nuts. And the fact that there's 67, 68 of you guys on right now, and most of you have been watching this whole time, you guys are sick. Peter, what lenses do you get with your outdoor masters Volt or VLT? Question mark. Peter, I am terrible literally i'm terrible at um like remembering techie specs like that but give me a second i got a helmet bag if you don't have a helmet bag invest in a helmet bag helmet bags are game changers Ugh. all right my go-to lens i like the most for a highlight day is this like green and blue one um, don't know the VLT. It's sick. Magnetic lens. These are the Outdoor Masters, by the way, guys. These things are sick. Um, this is my go-to everyday lens. It looks really good on the vlog, too. It's a big reason why I use it. I got a bunch of new lenses that aren't for these goggles, so give me a second. All right, they're like chrome silver, guys. They're kind of like mid-lights. I actually don't really like to use these ones too much. So that's like my, I like black lenses, but then I realized how sick color lenses are in the vlog, so I don't really rock them anymore. I literally have so many lenses. The best part is if you get out there, masters, these lenses are only 30 bucks, so you can get a bunch of new lenses, like easy peasy. Clear. I like the clear a lot. These are VLT zero, but you got to wear these on like pure puking days. So when we got that epic snowstorm, I wore the clear lenses. I could see everything. It was so sick. We're almost through the lenses, guys. My favorite low lights are right here. Boom, the blue lenses. It's almost like clear lights, but if the sun comes through, you don't get your eyes toasted. That's when your eyes will get fried is when you have clear lenses. The blue low lights, favorite. They also look really good with the red jacket. I didn't even mention, dude, I got a, the title of this is I got a new jacket. I got a yellow Burton, not a DC. So sick, got it as a Christmas gift. And I really like that jacket, by the way. Yeah, I don't wear the dark lenses really anymore. All right, hold on. We got one more lens we're looking for. All right, this is my favorite mid light. So I don't go by VLT. I go like high light, mid light, low light. High light is when it's just sunny. Mid light is when it's partial cloud and sunny. I go with a mid light. And then low light is when I go with like the super clear looking lenses. So the blue and green is my favorite mid light lens. I hope that helps you, no joke. Look at how many lenses I have for my Outdoor Masters, which I don't know anybody who has this many lenses for a high-end goggle. These are all lenses. That's so sick. And when pe people are always like, Jonathan, it takes you so long to get ready. Well, 
that's because I gotta, gotta find my lens, which you guys just saw how long it takes me to go through all of my lenses. Do we still got more super chats? Oh. Hillbilly Built Customs. I love watching your channel. Between you and Tommy, I have progressed so much this season versus previous. Heck yeah, dude. That's so sick. Like, that's why we make these channels. We want to help you become a sicker snowboarder. And by doing it on YouTube, we can, meet, we can reach thousands of people opposed to like hundreds in a lifetime. So that's so sick. Uh, I would love to ride with y'all one day. Hillbilly, they'd be so sick to ride with you. So we get asked every single day to go ride with people. I'm sure Tommy gets the same questions, which obviously we'd love to do that. It's not really possible because there's so many of you. However, I have an option. So Saturday at Beaver Creek, if you want to snowboard with me, we're doing a group shred. The link for that is on my Patreon page. Join the group shred tier. The reason why there's a tier is I don't want a million people to show up and hurt the quality. So there is a pay barrier to get into it, but that's so people that do show up can have a better experience. Um, group shred tier, Beaver Creek this Saturday. Or you can do one-on-one -on -one shred days. Melissa just did one. We went to Winter Park. It was so sick. So if you want to do one-on-one -on -one shred days with me, you want to go to do a group shred, that's the best way to snowboard with me. The other best way is just to run into me on the mountain. I'm a super nice dude. I'm going to say what's up. We're going to take a lap. We're going to talk in the chairlift, whatever. So sick. However, if I am in the groove of making a video, obviously videos come first because videos go to the thousands of people and we can't hurt a video for one person. Does that, if that makes sense, I hope that doesn't sound kind of crappy. Doing R6. I hope I said that right. Go longer than Tommy. <laughs> Guys, there's no way I can go longer than Tommy. There's no, there's no, I don't think that's possible. Tommy went nuts. His live streams, by the way, they're all talking about Tommy's live streams, which Tommy, I don't think he drank a single water during his live stream. I don't drink water. But Tommy, you got to drink stuff during your live streams, dude. Dude went off on his live stream. It was super sick. And he just got his super chats up. And so many of you guys supported Tommy, which is sick. Because if you support the boy, the number two, that's only supporting the taking over the world. So thank you, everyone that supported Tommy. No free brand deals. Mm. All right. <coughs> Justin, $5 super chat. I'm going off this live stream. Said hashtag... Dragons for snow, 100% for AV. Dragons are sick. I've had I, my first sick, like legit pair of goggles, which I could grab, they're in this drawer right here, was a pair of dragons. I liked them a lot. They were, I think they were called the EG2s. I don't remember, I gotta remember the name. But they were the first ever no frame dragons and like, or goggles, and I was blown away. Like no frame goggles are so clean. And so uh, I bought those immediately. And dude, Jose Bautista, Jose Bautista, Got the five dollar super chat. And didn't even drop a question or a comment, dude. You're such a supporter of the channel. I think he's dropped a five dollar super chat every live stream for like months now, dude. You're sick. Thank you so much for the five dollar super chat. All right, we're up to the last super chat. Engine, dude. He said Psh, Chuck Nutella. I don't know. I don't know what the conversation is, but Engine clearly likes Nutella. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um so thick. I also don't really like peanut butter because I think it's more of the texture than the actual taste, but whoa, guys, what a freaking live stream. Sean jumped in the chat. What's up, Sean? Oh. I'm trying to like, I've just been talking nonstop for like the last hour and 10 minutes, so we're already 10 minutes over a live stream. All right, looks like you guys are having a sick chat, which I don't want to cut off by stopping this live stream. But let me see if I can find one more question to answer. All right, Jet said, I just got a, a new DC over a Burton. Are Burton's better? I think he's talking about um, jackets. Now, I wouldn't say something is better than something else other than, like, preference. Like, the Burton jacket I have is super sick. However, it doesn't have, like, in the powder skirt, it doesn't have the hooks to attach to my pants. Where So, with the Burton, if I do fall hard enough, the jacket can still ride up. Like, the powder skirt can still ride up. So, I do like that every DC jacket I have, ha have had has had that. 
However, that burn jacket is pure quality, but also DCs are quality too. It's a lot of it's about fit. Like the Burton's a slightly tighter jacket. I do like how baggy DCs are, but the Burton's super sick. I really like it. Obviously, I haven't dropped any vlogs with it. I just did the GoPro comparison, which is comparison. And if you missed that GoPro 8 versus gimbal, check it out. I think it'll blow your mind. Um, but I wouldn't say one is better than the other. It's all about, do you like the colors? Do you like the fit? Do you like the things that happen with the jacket? So that's what I'm going to say. All right, we got more super chats. You guys are so sick. Like, don't know train coming in hot. Peter said, I might, uh, I might have to buy one, a one-on-one -on -one for the end of February. Peter, be careful with the end of February. I might not be in town. So that's the only issue with one-on-ones. But I'm, I'm so down for a one-on-one -on -one shred day, Peter. Like, that would be super sick. I'd love to ride with you. They're not, they're not lessons because if I give a lesson on the mountain, your boy would get sued and taken down and Vale would cut this whole thing off. We're not going, we're hanging out for sure. So it's going to hang out. We're going to make a vlog together. It's going to be sick and we're buddies. Justin said, almost made it. Are you talking about to Tommy's length? Because we're not even close to Tommy's length yet. <laughs> Dude, old man shredder with another Seek 20. Get Daniel on the hill. All right. I'm going to title that video, The Return of Daniel, by the way. So be ready for it. Don't let Buckhouse go and Jen with the $2 super. Dude, the $2 are coming in hot. Oh, guys. guys, last super chat. Roman needs his dad. TL <laughs> TLC, tender love and care. We do got to give Roman some tender love and care. So guys, I do have to jump off. The super chats are so helpful, guys. You have no idea how much this helps make, make snowboard YouTubing for a living, a reality, and how I can support you guys and help you guys. So thank you so much for the Super Chats. You have no idea. Guys, if you can't drop Super Chats, it's enough. You guys are sick. You can tell this little dude is ready to rock and play. He's got another Super Chat. We'll answer that real quick. <laughs> DJ Drum Dramatical said, Yo, Buckhouse, when are you, or when you're all famous and stuff, rent a venue, get some s sick indie artist and throw a huge party for all of us shred heads dude what i really want to do no joke and i wanted to do it last year i want to make a youtube movie i'm gonna call it demonetized which is a sick name make a youtube snowboard movie i want to record it obviously keep stuff seated, hidden have all these banger tricks make a legit 30 minute snowboard movie rent a venue out in denver do a live premiere you guys can show up meet everybody that's in the video ideally it'd be all sick if it was like casey willax snowboard pro camp tj um like all the snowboard youtubers like youtube meet and greet live premiere movie i want to do that one one time one year somehow maybe the end of this year if you guys are about a live premiere snowboard movie from the snowboard youtubers let me know that'd be so sick and shy on dude with the two dollar super chat legendary live stream today dude this was a sick live of the live like the super chats i want to answer everybody's question it's getting to the point because you guys are so hot and heavy and sick it's hard to answer everyone's questions but i appreciate it we're almost at nineteen thousand subscribers nuts five thousand new subscribers you guys are sick you're killing it this season has been nuts thank you for all the support thank you to all the new patreons our goal is 100 patreons this is our goal list 100 patreons um this season we're at 68 right now we're so close um I love you guys. You guys are sick. Stupid chat. I, I can't say, I don't even know how to end this. You guys are so awesome. Um, I think it's copper tomorrow. I'm going to call Tommy, see what he's doing. Um, Friday, I think Vail. Saturday, group shred. I'd love for you guys to come. It'd be so sick to ride, ride with you. And with that, Team Elk House, thank you so much for shredding with me. Get that Revolution merch for Christmas. More plugs. Thank you so much for shredding with me today or talking with me. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow. Sick vlogs coming. Be ready. We're ahead on vlogs, just so you know. So everything's posting a day late. See you guys. You're so awesome.